this video is an experiment to demonstrate that a constant that is related to mirror to mirror reflection is a principle, an underlying principle, a driving principle actually found in nature, mathematical constant, and that's the golden ratio. This is designed to demonstrate that the golden ratio is produced to, uh, relative to mirror to mirror reflection. You see here I've got the computer sitting in front of the TV and right here the very top here uh, when I'm illustrating this just pay attention to the first ruler that you see uh, to your left okay you see this black line that I have here this is in the paint form and down here a black line it's thick but we're going to remove that thickness as throwing off the math, math the, the uh, product of our division that we're going to do we're going to thin that line because I'm going to go in here and place a piece of tape at the bottom of the line and a piece of tape at the top of the line here as well okay so I'm going to tape 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 then I'm going to slide this webcam over so you can see what we got I'm going to and I'm going to measure from tape to tape, tape to tape, take first measurement, second measurement, divide those two sums, and you'll see uh, how astonishingly close it is to the golden ratio. Close enough to prove that this is a um, established principle. I say close enough because it's very hard to calibrate this because the computer table moves, the TV moves when I put the tape on it, it's going to kind of throw off a measurement, but certainly when you see the sum of these two divided, you'll see that it's not in any way significant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place tape on here now. And I'm going to take the measurement, and I'm going to place that into a sixteenths. So we'll do the division with sixteenths, and you can do the division fractionally if you'd like. Same, you'll have the same result produced. You see what I'm doing? I'm placing it at the top of the line here, the bottom of the line there. And so long as I do that exactly in the next frame, then we'll get a consistent measurement there. Top of that line. bottom of this line as well kind of throws it off a little bit too that is the initial use of the blue ruler because of the way I'm relatively observing this when I place the measure on there when I'm lining this one up and lining this one up that angry angular uh, deviation there is affecting a little bit but again when the sum is produced you'll see that it's it in no way invalidates that the gold ratio is indeed produced well, it's a mirror to mirror reflection. So, what I'm going to do now is drag this over so you can get a view of what I've done there. And again, we're going to measure from the top of the tape here to the top of the tape here, top of the tape here, top of the tape here, and see what we get. And a little bit more. Then 10 and 3 quarters. We'll just say 10 and 3 quarters. That represents 172 sixteenths. Take the next uh, frame in the succession of frames relative to the propagation from the, from the surface, uh, first surface frame back into the mirror. We've got about the same. It's a little bit off six and three quarters. We'll count that as six and three quarters. And that represents 108 sixteenths. Now we're going to bring our calculator up.
and we're going to put these um, the sum of the first line represents 172 sixteenths divided by the second in the succession is 108 sixteenths get 1.5925 and it repeats so we'll write that sum down 1.592 And we'll divide the golden ratio by that sum. 1, 1.618 divided by 1.592 equals. We're off by 1.01633%. And in the realm of science theory, in the realm of mathematics, that is close enough to demonstrate that this is in reality a principal constant that forms consistent with mirror to mirror reflection. Now we can take this principle and we can study these frames a lot more with different methodologies, different experiments, and I intend to do just that. And the product of using the of, a, of using this as an application towards more refined physics and mathematics and scientific discovery. Uh, I think the series of videos, which will keep getting better and better, will stand on their own merits as most certainly relevant and perhaps worthy of uh, serious scrutiny and consideration in those three genres that I uh, stated science, physics, and mathematics. And then, of course, we can also bring it into other realms. Seeing that the golden ratio is so relevant, seeing that the golden ratio is produced right here. The pattern is discovered right here. The pattern that's been searched in the golden ratio, what produces it, how does it form, uh, uh, how does it contract, expand, how does it mold everything. Uh, well, we found the underlying principle behind it. And this represents a pattern. So the pattern within the golden ratio is discovered through an understanding of reflection relative the relationship between energy and mass relative to energy being a reflector uh, may or may not be reflective itself but most certainly mass is exclusively a reflection of energy so there you have it